Greetings, welcome back to Sinking City. Let's visit a hospital. Hospital is here. I just wanna... Oh, do that. So this is where we wanna go. Hello. Yeah, with those long-legged buggers we can deal by shovel, but... Okay, I wonder if I can... if I get back to my room, can I... You look as if you, you wouldn't tell me something. Come on. Oh! You! Oh! You're the man who handled the problems in the port. Yep! Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Want to make something on the side? Hmm. You pay, I work. What's the job? Ah, a fellow businessman. I'm Vincent, but you can call me Vince. First task is to find the ship's log for the pride. Charles Reed. A few questions, if I may. Sure, sure. Just <laughs> that. I'm gonna need somewhere to start. Mostly rumors. The captain was an exemplary patriot. Always had a flag with him. His last shipment may have been chemicals and metal barrels. It could be resting on the seabed a thousand miles away. What makes you think it can be found? I wouldn't waste my money on you unless I had hope. Local drunkards say they saw the barge on the sunken road near the fish market. Good. I'll check the place and bring you the pride's ship log if it's still there. Why are you looking for a ship log? Maybe I'll tell you when the job is done. Right now, you don't need to know. In my line of work, you don't get far without appreciating the need for privacy. I understand. See you later. Okay. Um, still wanna visit the hospital first. Hope I'm going in the right direction. Is it open? It always looks as if it was open. Uh, wait, give me a second. I need to remove this one. So it won't be. Misleading. That place isn't infested. Okay, let's not get lost. All the way. Then left, left, right, right. All the way, then left, left, right, right. All the way, then left, left, right, right. Whoa. My bad, I wasn't paying attention. All the way. I wonder what happens if I try to get out of the city by boat. Seeing that happens, there's the blockhead. Blockade. And here. Hello. This is really. Al this city is really alive. Which is surprising. Left. Left? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. If you feel you can stand the hunger, pain and diseases of this world, accept my gift. 
the blue pill you've got in your hand is my answer to your prayers. Take it and you'll be fed. Take it and the pain will go away. The next hour of your life will be blessed. The one pill and you'll be happy until the end of your life, I promise. Okay. Okay, I'm my boat bubble. Never again. I am adventurous type. For a time. <laughs> right, right. Is it okay? Yeah, and we can go to the first one. First one left. Go faster! Woo! Okay, it's a little too fast. Or not. Yay! Okay. Hope it stays here. What the? Stay away. I'm watching you. What the hell? Why am I always... Bug the game out. The whole over the hell out of games. Cheaper than the rest. No, no. Patient or visitor. Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? My head? Uh, no complaints, I'm good. Well, you're the exception these days. We're simply overflowing with patients. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Bye. It means a lot. Okay. Archive is right here. Uh... You need to repair your roof. Okay, how am I? How can I craft inventory? This is how I can craft this. Okay.
course I can carry any more. One thirty one three. Okay, do I have anything in the skills? I do. Crap, metal gain trains to double quest reward items, gain more experience from all sources, remain sane for much longer. Let's see, Vigor. Hmm. I want that. I'm gonna go for this one. Clear water. Oh, come on, come on! It's a, it's a gasket. Coffin. I mean. Hmm? Oh, it's... okay. No, 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 it was here. Subjects. Uh, patients. Period. After the flood. Department. Oh. District. Uh, Grimhaven Bay. Nope. 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 Yep. <laughs> Peter Crowley. Male, 29. Oak monter. Multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to chest and face as a result of explosion. Several surgeries. Wound treatment. Facial surgery. Prognosis good. Bad rest recommended. Joseph Fulow. Male, 39. Newcomer. Deep cut wound to left shoulder, broken collarbone, fracture scapula, wound stitched, fracture set to fracture set and banded. No trace of infection evident. Prognosis good, but rest recommended. It wasn't that way. Right? Oh, harbor? Surgery? Captain Sanders is the one that man and is now seeking medical aid. Yeah, I know that. I was hurt when I the expedition member to the left. I'm going to be waiting for K. But it's a side case, so not. Okay, once again. Since I was in the pier, the only survivor of the fight was the third pair of Grimhaven. Grimhaven. After the flood, surgery. Grimhaven, but okay, I can only go for free. Okay, maybe. Mm -mm. Patience, definitely patience. So I do like that. Well, I found something. Oh, that's it. Good. But rest recommended. Oh, there's another floor. With rooms? Oh, beds. Okay, you're holding your left arm. <laughs> you, Mr. Pete. Explosion. Fishing with dynamite. Oh, hurts talking. Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship. I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Bye. Oh, my stomach. 
I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. Why the hell would you eat leeches? Ugh. It hurts even thinking about that. You. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Some psycho. In a bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? He's lying. I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? <laughs> Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. Y you should probably look somewhere else. <sighs> That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. What were you looking for underwater? The cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really? We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. If they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew, none of them deserved what happened to them. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You... Uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? 
My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Get better soon.